What is up, my friend? I hope you're doing well, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about a concept that's slightly more advanced, um, or maybe even just intermediate if you are, uh, if you've been playing piano for any length of time, and that is how to develop a sensitive touch on the keyboard. Now, this is important because we wanna be able to uh, get used to our keyboard and be able to get a certain sound from our keyboard on command, right? This can be a little difficult if you are not you know, a dedicated piano player or if you're not used to playing the keyboard. So in this video, I wanna keep it short and sweet, but give you uh, just a quick tip that you can use to really take your piano playing to the next level. But before you do that, I wanna give you my Playing With Confidence free guide. It basically goes over five fundamental techniques that you need to know to make sure that you're covering your bases as a pianist. And so if you're interested in taking your skills to the next level through like scales and chords and uh, that type of practice, then I wanna give that to you absolutely free. Just click the link in the box below and it'll take you straight there. All right, let's talk about the method of developing sensibility. So when I say sensibility, I'm just talking about kind of knowing what to do in order to get the certain sound out of your own piano, out of your device. Now, this concept can work for anything from like an acoustic grand or an upright piano to like an electric keyboard or a MIDI controller. Like these are all keyboards, right? But what you wanna do is start playing notes, even if it's just one individual single note and see how lightly you can play the note and still get a sound from the keyboard or from the piano. Maybe just do this with one finger, staying relaxed and letting the fingertip do the work. Just sink slowly and really feel the bottom of the key as well. So when you play the note, feel the bottom of the key. Feel how the hammer hits against the note, against the strings of the keyboard, right? And once you start to get this consistently, you can even add in a couple other notes. Very lightly. Maybe another note here. Right? So you see how I'm activating very quiet dynamic layers from my sample library, which is Cine Piano. Um, but basically when you start getting access and getting used to the softer dynamics on the keyboard, then you can go the opposite direction. So start getting louder bit by bit. And the key here is to stay relaxed the entire time, but keep the fingers firm. The wrist will stay loose and relaxed, but the fingers will stay firm. Right? Notice how the whole time I was doing that, I was aiming for a loud and rich sound, but I was only able to do that because my wrist was relaxed and loose. The fingertips and the fingers were more or less firm to make sure they don't fall flat. So that's why the fingertips are so important. But if your whole body just tenses up, then your the sound's gonna be restricted and harsh and you don't want that. So if I just play a little bit here. I was generating that power from my shoulders into the forearms, into the wrists, into the hands. So everything is just like a liquid kinetic chain. You literally let the power flow through the hands into the keyboard, and then eventually it gets sent through the keys out from the lid or out from the speakers into the space. So that's the whole idea. Start with the very quiet dynamics. See how quietly you can play and how delicately you can feel the keys while still pulling a sound from the piano. And then as you get used to doing that consistently, then bring up the dynamic. Go So start from like PP, go to P, then MP, MF, F, and Fortissimo, and see how loudly you can play, but staying relaxed and um, receptive to the power of the piano and the keyboard the entire time. The worst thing you can do is start to tense up. And I used to do this a lot, which is... Um, which is not good. And I couldn't really control the keys very well when I tensed up. So as long as you stay relaxed, you will control the keyboard. And uh, yeah, it, we want we want it to seem fluid and easy, not not hard and you know tough. So um, that's the whole point of keyboard playing and piano playing is it's it's an art. It's not something to struggle with. Okay. 
Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions about that, let me know in a comment below. And again, if you don't have my Playing With Confidence guide, I wanna give that to you as a gift for watching this video. It'll take you through those five fundamental concepts that you need to know as a pianist to take your playing to the next level. And I know it will help you if you apply them right away. So anyway, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.